Hello, Frogman here. Today I'm going to show you how to optimize animated GIFs so that they will work on Tumblr. Now the constraints for Tumblr, as they have said, it must be less than 500 pixels wide and it also must be less than 512 kilobits or kilobytes in size. So your average GIF is usually like two to three megs, so you have to do quite a bit of tweaking to get it down to that. Now, this program I have here is called ULED GIF Animator. Um, it's about a $50 program, but it's one of the best I've found in order to do this kind of um, optimizing, I guess. So we have this GIF here, uh, the cat on the Roomba, and he's batting away at the dog. Uh, there he goes again. What you want to do is pay attention. First, thing, pay attention to the key moments uh, in the animation. That would be the batting at the dog in this case, and. Uh, you'll see why you want to single out those moments in a second here. Um, this particular animation is 111 frames and that's way too many. We're going to need to get rid of half of those. Um, so you just use your mouse and you click on that and you hold down your control key I guess and uh, just I just do every other frame um, and I just start selecting every other frame but I want to watch out for that section in which he bats at the dog because that's the part that we want to be smooth and make sure we have all the frames for um, so we don't want to get rid of any of those frames. So I'll unselect that. So it looks like starting here, he's about to do it. So we'll leave. There he's still batting. There he's still batting. And if you look, the difference between this frame and this frame is barely anything. So that's a good place to uh, start cutting out again. So we're going to leave all of these frames um, alone and go back to doing every other frame. So now I have all the frames I don't need um, selected. These are just... So I'm just going to hit delete on my keyboard and say yes. And now I'm down to 60 frames from 111. Um, and that's probably cut my file size in half. So now if we look at it, it's a little choppier, but you can still tell exactly what's going on. And the most important parts are still smooth and in there, and uh, so we're all good there. So that's all the frame reduction I'm going to do. Um, now we're going to go to the Optimize tab up here and see how good we've done. All right. We still got about two megs to go. Now that's quite a lot. Um, so next thing we're going to need to do is probably reduce the size. Um, basically you want to go to go back to the Edit tab, go to Edit, resize image and it's already I mean 470 that's already kinda of big for a GIF um, so we can probably let's try 300 you wanna keep aspect ratio checked and quality I just do fair and so we'll size it down and if you look it's still big enough that you can you can see everything that's going on just fine so that has reduced our size down to one meg. So that made a huge difference. 
Now here's where we do some of the major tweaking. Um, start out with the colors. Over here you see this preset tab. You got go down here, you got um, different settings. And what you want to do is right now it's on 256 colors, photo 256. So let's try 128 and see if that makes a difference in the size. Okay, that didn't make any difference whatsoever. So let's go down to photo 64. Still no difference. All right, photo 32. Okay, we got a little bump down. Now let's try photo 16. Okay, we got some major reduction there. Like 860 kilobytes right now. So we're, we're getting there. Um, and if you look, it doesn't really need more than 16 colors. Um, on the right side here, you can still tell everything is going on. Yeah, there's a little grain and stuff like that, but um, the joke is still intact, if you know what I mean. All right, so next we move on to Dither, and let's see if this makes a difference. And that's this one right here, and uh, we'll just move it down. Okay, so Dither will work. Um, so let's see if moving it down. I moved it down to zero, and we're down to 640. And let's look at our GIF, make sure it's not. That's not too bad. You still tell it's a cat and a dog. Yeah, the colors are a little much together, but I, I think it's still okay. So Dither is at zero. I don't like to put it down that low, but this was a big file to begin with, and I really don't want to size it down anymore. That's another option. Is you, I mean, you can make this a postage stamp, but I still want to maintain a decent size so people can still see it pretty well. And the last thing is this lossy feature. And this basically makes it look crappier and crappier until you hit the size you need. So I just go a little bit at a time. Um, we're now at 508. So we're just under. And let's see how it looks. I mean, it doesn't look great, but it's still the size I want, and it's got the stuff I want. Okay, I think that's as good as we're going to get it. So I've optimized it. No, it doesn't look spectacular quality-wise, but like I said, you still get the joke, and uh, it'll work on Tumblr. So we'll just go to File, Save As, and then a GIF file. And then call that Roomba Kitty 2. And give it a try and upload it on Tumblr. And if it still doesn't work, you may have to reduce it even more. But uh, those are pretty much the techniques you need to know. I hope this helps you guys.